Hi guys, it's Jalen. Today I wanted to do a grocery haul. I just got back from HEB and I wanted to show you my weekly grocery haul. So I wanted to say that we're a family of five. We live in Texas, South Texas. Um, and I normally go to HEB to do my grocery shopping. Sometimes I'll go to Walmart. Uh, if I have to get something in like the in the home section, I will go to Walmart, but I prefer HEB. Um, so pretty much everything I got today is from HEB. So I wanted to read off my weekly um, dinner menu that we're gonna have, and this is what I grocery shopped for. Of course, I bought some extra things that we needed, um, but this is what we're having for the week. So tonight we're having spaghetti with salad and garlic bread. Tuesday, pork chops and baked potatoes. Wednesday, refried bean tostadas. Uh, Thursday, roast beef with mashed potatoes and carrots. Um, Friday is always our pizza night, and I didn't get pizza, so I'll have to do that later this week. Uh, Saturday, I put soup. <laughs> so that's uh, it's pretty simple this week. I tried to kind of... Uh, save some money sometimes I like to get crazy and try new recipes and cook fancier things but this week I just really tried to keep it basic and do what the, the kids like and kind of what's cheap I tried to sort this out and organize it but <laughs> I don't really know what's easiest for you guys to understand but I'm gonna try and tell you what uh, everything is gonna go into um, so I got tomatoes, that's kind of for the tostadas to put on top of shredded lettuce or even in salad. Um, turnips, I made a cream of turnip soup last week and it had spinach and pasta in it and it was really good. Turnips aren't that expensive and I really love soup, especially in the fall. So I think I'm gonna make another cream of turnip soup. Okay, so corn, this was six for a dollar at HEB, so I got some corn. The kids love, I think kids just like uh, corn on the cob. It's fun to eat. Um, so Bradley's kind of been asking to have some corn on the cob, so I went ahead and got some corn on the cob. I'm thinking we might have this with uh, our pork chop night, when we're having pork chops, baked potato, and corn on the cob. Uh, lettuce for salad. I do have to say, I try to save money by just buying, you know, the, the lettuce that's already, was that a, a head of lettuce? Um, it's not, not the ones in the bag that are pre-chopped because that can get more expensive, but I have to, I have to go ahead and rinse it and chop it and put it in a bag or else it'll rot in the fridge. It's almost like I can't put lettuce in there not chopped already or I'll just never use it. So I'm gonna, after I get done, I'm gonna chop that up and just put it in the fridge. So it's ready to go. Bananas, um, kids like to snack on the bananas, uh, especially Brennan, he loves bananas. And I have been making a smoothie every morning with berries, banana, yogurt, so I like to keep bananas around. Frozen spinach, that's always nice to have in the freezer and I'm gonna eat, put it in that soup, that cream of turnip soup that I'm gonna make. These little carrots I'll throw in the crock pot when I make roast beef. Um, bologna. It's cheap bologna. The kids sometimes like a bologna sandwich. And uh, for lunch, uh, Bristol and Bradley go to school, uh, elementary school. And uh, they are getting free lunches right now uh, due to COVID, I guess. So I guess due to COVID, uh, the school has had got some extra money. I don't really know how it happened, but it is really neat. The kids get free lunches and breakfast. So we're kind of using that to our advantage. So I'm trying not to make lunches right now because it only lasts until December. And so I'm trying to make them eat the school lunch because it's free and it's not, it's good for them. They have fruits and vegetables and I, I just think that it's just easier for everybody. <laughs> But, uh, like, on some days, they really don't like what the school's having, um, like nachos with cheese. They're not going to like that because my kids are weird. But uh, they like bologna sandwiches, so I'll probably put that, pack them in bologna sandwich in their lunch. Spaghetti. We make spaghetti. This is pinto beans. Sometimes, like, my grandparents call them red beans, which I don't know why. I've always grown up calling them pinto beans, but I guess... Back in the day, you used to call these red beans, but they're pinto beans. Um, I make uh, sometimes just like some, you know, beans, 
with onion, tomato, jalapenos, um, kind of a Mexican style, like borracho beans. Um, but you, you use pinto beans to make refried beans. So I'll cook these, uh, store them in the fridge, and then mash them and make refried beans when we're having tostadas. Brown sugar, I use this for oatmeal in the morning. The kids like brown sugar and cinnamon oatmeal. And I think I'm gonna make some, um, some type of crumble. I don't know, some type of fall. Maybe like a pear apple crumble or something. So I need a brown sugar. Apples, Brennan cannot live without apples. In fact, he lives off of apples. He barely eats anything but apples, bananas, and chips. I don't know, <laughs> whatever. Um, uh, meat. So I got some chorizo. I think I'm going to try and make a breakfast casserole dish for uh, Bronson eat in the mornings. I have smoothies, but he likes chorizo. So like an egg and chorizo um, breakfast casserole. He might, that might be easy for him to heat up in the mornings before he goes to work. Ground beef. This is for the spaghetti. Um, I just got cheap ground beef because honestly the kids don't even really care to have meat in their spaghetti. They would just eat the noodles or the pasta in the sauce. So, and I, I don't really care to eat the meat either because I'll probably just eat some noodles and salad and a piece of bread. So, all right. So I covered the microphone on my camera, so I'm going to have to do a voiceover. Uh, this is. Uh, round roast boneless um, it's beef and it's what I'm gonna use for our roast beef that we're having this week um, it was $4.19 a pound total price $11.65 almost three pounds of meat so I will put that in the crock pot with carrots and potatoes and um, gravy um, these are pork chops they're actually value mixed pork cuts. I've never bought these before, but they were $2.89. And I'm probably just going to dip them in flour, uh, fry them in a pan, and make some gravy. So not a bad price for just some cheap pork chop. Here's some pickles for the kids' snacks. Greek plain yogurt. I put that in my smoothies in the morning, and maybe if I want to have a healthy snack in the afternoon, I'll mix it with some uh, raw honey, and it fills me up. Uh, and it's good in the afternoon so I don't get too hungry before dinner um, milk we always need milk sour cream and onion Pringles that was Brennan's idea <laughs> uh, yeah and then honey nut toasted oats cereal uh, kids have been getting free breakfast in the morning so haven't had to make a lot of breakfast for them uh, the school is actually providing free breakfast and lunches so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. What am I doing? Oh, eggs. Uh, we always need eggs. The dozen is for Bronson's chorizo and egg casserole, casserole in the mornings. And then just we always need eggs for maybe fried eggs uh, for breakfast. The kids love that. Um, and for me to bake with as well. Um... So that's a bunch of eggs. And then we have chocolates. Uh, there is this brownie recipe that I like to make and it requires all these yummy chocolates, baking chocolates. Guys, okay, if you're not following What's For Tea, which is kind of why I'm doing this haul because she does them and she just does such an amazing job. Like me and my daughter Bristol love watching her uh, at night, like before we go to bed and if we're eating like little dessert, uh, we like watching her at night to, uh, at night and we'll watch some of her baking videos. She does grocery hauls. Um, she does weekly meals, uh, or what's for dinner, what's for tea. Um, she lives in Scotland and that's actually how I found her channel because I was searching like Scottish recipes and we just like fell in love with her channel and I just love how she does, uh, these weekly, uh, meals. Uh, grocery hauls sorry I'm getting sidetracked uh, she does all these grocery hauls and things like that and um, I thought I kind of wanted to get back into that and put that on my channel because that's the stuff that I I love watching I can lay in bed and watch people do grocery hauls uh, especially if they're like from a different country or something like that it's really interesting to see what other people buy so I hope I hope that I can
can do that for you guys. Like maybe there's somebody that lives in, I don't know, somewhere in a whole different side of the world that's watching this video and thinking, wow, that is something that I would never buy. But it's really interesting to see what people from all over the world buy for their groceries to eat for the week, I guess. Okay. Uh, anyways, my point is that she has a, uh, Cheryl, she, uh, has her What's For Tea um, YouTube channel, and she has a brownie recipe on there that is absolutely delicious. Like, it's so rich and intense and just luxurious brownies, and so I like to make them, uh, and this is the chocolate, you need baking chocolate to make that recipe, so I got that. Um, just sandwich bread, we always need sandwich bread. I, kind of always grab H-E-B split top honey wheat um you know it's good for sandwiches for the kids or if we need toast um popcorn I haven't had popcorn in a while uh Bristol loves to make this she'll just grab it and make a snack with it you know you throw it in the microwave um and it's something she can do by herself and I don't have to to you know make it for her she can just do it and make it for her and her brothers so that's a nice little snack for the kids to have. Popcorn. Um, how to get some puppy food. This is, I haven't tried this one. I wanted to try something new because last time I got uh, Purina Pro plan, I think. And they seemed like uh, we have a puppy that's a standard poodle. And she seemed like she liked it okay, the Purina Pro plan. But she didn't seem too crazy about it. So I just wanted to try something new. This wasn't that expensive. But I think that's what she was eating when um, she was born. You know, her she was at her, uh, still with her mommy and her brothers and sisters. Her breeder was feeding her that. So, And then, of course, some toilet paper. Just cheap old toilet paper. I do like the Hill Country brand at H-E-B uh, because it's off brand but it's really most of the things aren't too bad um so yeah that is pretty much everything um just a bag of original potato chips kids like to snack on that i love just plain potato chips <laughs> so anyways yep Alright guys, that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like the video, uh, comment, uh, kind of share some ideas, maybe what you uh, make during the week. Maybe if you have any um, ideas what to buy at HEB that's cheaper or better, what uh, brand you like. Uh, but yeah, like the video because it helps me out. And if you want, click the subscribe button. I'm going to try and make more videos of grocery hauls and I'm going to try to make weekly, uh, weekly dinners. So it'll just be a video and you'll see, um, pictures of what we had throughout the whole week. Um, and then also on Fridays, I want to try to do family vlogs cause I've got three kids that are crazy and fun and I think it'd just be fun to do family vlogs. So yes, once again, thank you so much for watching. Um, Stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, I really appreciate you watching this video and taking the time to watch it. And yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.